I did a review on the Clyona light. Now I would be doing another video talking about what they could have done better with the light. This is a 70 LED light. It comes four in a pack, um, four packs of 3M double-sided tape, four screws, and four wall plugs. As a matter of fact, I bought my first four lights, and then I was satisfied. I bought another four, which I have in the yard, but you could place it anywhere outside you want it has uh, three moods and uh, the sensor this is the mood switch this is the sensor it's also waterproof it's properly sealed which I'm in the Caribbean and we have a lot of rain and the sun right now in the hurricane season. And up to now, no water has got into it as yet. All this is properly sealed. Right now it's off, but when you press one press, you put your hand, you notice it's dim, two press, you notice it, when it's like that, it's dark, it, it's, it comes on, and once it it saw my hand come over it, so it um, it gets brighter. The only thing with that, it's not infrared. That anything that pass would break the beam. And once the beam is broken, it would come on. Now, what I don't like with this which i find they could uh, do better i've removed the screws huh? so i won't bore y'all this is what i find they could have improved on if somebody pushes this light they doesn't have a soldering iron or there is a non-tech person this is a disaster waiting to happen there is a slot here or a slot which i find they should put some battery terminals and slide the battery into this instead of having it the way they have it there because if somebody doesn't know better they get a soldering iron and try to change the battery and they overheat that battery one it may explode two too much heat would damage the battery would kill the life of the battery so i find this they should have spent a couple of cents more and placed the battery in here. So anybody, any ordinary person would be able to change a battery. Just take it out and change it. The way it is there, you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get hurt. You know, but apart from that, 
the light works okay so i would advise those of you who don't know much about electronics get somebody to change or solder the, t the leads on the battery i bought some battery leads it hasn't come yet because of the corona so i would be taking out the battery where it is there and placing it in here i would do that on the eight packs i have that's the only thing i don't like about this apart from that i'm satisfied with it it works good it lights up for about uh seven eight hours maybe six maybe six seven because whatever time it comes on i don't know but anytime i do look outside i would see it's on so once you have a good sunlight the battery is fully charged this is the solar panel the battery is fully charged you have no problem with your light make sure wherever you place in this it would get sunlight don't place it over a balcony or a canopy make sure that it would get some light now it doesn't have to get direct sunlight but once it get in the light it will charge for instance as the light hitting it there it trickle charging but when it trickle charge it would take a longer time to charge but when you do buy this make sure you get about 12 hours or let's say eight hours fully charged once you put it up the sun is good you're good to go i would recommend this apart from the way the battery is in here i will recommend this because i'm satisfied with it if you find this video was informative please share like comment subscribe i'll put a link to this in the description if you purchase from me i'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you thanks and goodbye until the next one Feel like I'm